I remember being here with you yesterday saying that we were going to revisit Sprint and T-Mobile. We were going to revisit this merger. We know that SoftBank has said, you know, we, uh, we're not too sure if we want to do this anymore. We really can't get the governance down. We really can't get the, uh, the pricing agreement down. We're the majority owner of Sprint. T-Mobile, you need us more than we need you. Deutsche Telekom, T-Mobile, whatever you want to call them. You don't want to come to the table and figure it out. Maybe we'll pull the deal off the table. That's what we heard yesterday. The deal could be pulled off the table as early as today. Today, the deal did not get pulled off the table like the Nikkei said yesterday. David Faber over at uh, CNBC said yesterday, they're probably, they're probably more, you know, testing each other. It's just one of those things. You're going to kind of stare across the table from the guy and, you know, your move, bro. One of those things. It's just one of those things. That's business. That's the way that works. There's going to be these heated type of exchanges where nobody's sure who's going to do what or who's going to pull their cards first, but somebody's going to do it. Is SoftBank actually going to pull out of this? I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. Now, the real question about it all is that, see, T-Mobile has something Sprint doesn't have. See, T-Mobile has a network out there that's quite a bit stronger infrastructure-wise than Sprint's is. It's actually quite a bit newer. That's what Sprint's actually gaining in this whole thing. While they bring T-Mobile in, and T-Mobile's a much smaller company, Sprint has a lot more to offer. Sprint has the problem of potentially about $50 billion in value that they'd bring from T-Mobile going away and causing them to have to invest significant money and time in building back their infrastructure that they need to be very strong and to be a sturdy number three in the U.S. in the telecom industry. Otherwise, T-Mobile is probably going to usurp that position of number three eventually. So, SoftBank wants to play games. Are they going to win this? I don't think so. I think this is probably a bad move on their part. But I don't really see it coming to fruition. I think this merger is still going to take place, even though we've had a couple of days of, you know, hiccups and stuff. This always happens. Are they going to pull out of the deal with the potential blowback being that their share price goes down so drastically? Do you want your share price to fall? drastically when you're a company like sprint that already doesn't have the greatest quarterly numbers ever you probably don't want your share price to just tumble to the ground do you do you you don't want it to tumble to the ground do you of course not you're gonna need all the infrastructure that you're gonna get from t-mobile so you don't have to take this company private and watch that share price fall off the face of the earth so that we're hoping and praying that there's a turnaround story from sprint five years from now. That's just not going to happen. SoftBank and Deutsche Telekom are going to make this deal go through. I have nothing but faith in it because they both need each other more than they need to be alone. That's just the way it works. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, notification bell, thumbs up for all the videos, and comments. Wherever the comments go after this video goes up, one of those directions, leave a comment. We want to know what you think about this merger. We want everybody's opinion on this because it's not stopping. You might as well throw your two cents in. Hey, maybe SoftBank and Deutsche Telekom can figure out some of their pricing and governance issues based on your comments. Who knows who's reading them? I know I am. And we love hearing from you.